In this step of the Three Commons Academy course, I'm gonna show you how to set up three different DCA bots. The first one is using the advanced DCA bot and using one of the built-in deal start condition triggers and then starting the bot. So the first thing we're gonna do is of course, we're gonna go over here to click create DCA bot. Now we're going to choose, not Gordon, but we're gonna choose advanced. So the first thing I do is I need to choose a exchange to use. So I'm going to use this one, Binance MP, and I'm going to choose BTC USDT as my trading pair. But note that I could also type in here anything else that I would want to, but I am just going to use Bitcoin for this example. So the next thing to do is to figure out what kind of bot do I want, a multi-pair or a single pair? I'm keeping it on single pair. I'm going to keep a long strategy. I'm going to take profit in Bitcoin, not in quote, because I want to accumulate more Bitcoin with this bot. And now I have to figure out what's my base order size. How much do I want to use? So I can see here in total, I have about 13,000 USDT. So based on how much this bot is set up right now, without me really configuring it, it's only going to use 121 USDT, which is less than 1% of my total account. So while this may look like a lot of funds, I'm not really using my account to the fullest. So a couple of things I'm going to do is I'm going to increase this to 100 for 200 and it'll be different for you. That's okay. Um, and then I'm going to choose my max safety orders count to two, two. This is kind of my commonplace thing to do because again, I follow DCA Martingale strategy of doubling down. So with these settings that aren't finished right now, I can see that now I'm going to be using 700 ish. USDT, which is using about 4% of my account. This looks a bit better. Now here's the fun part. We have to figure out our price deviation to open safety orders or percentage from initial order. And we have to figure out where we're going to take profit. Note that I can arrange and move any of these windows as I please on three commas, which is nice. So now I can move this up to the top. So it's right near safety orders and take profit. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose a condition down here, we're going to use RSI. And we're going to use a couple of different things. We're going to leave it on RSI seven, we're going to choose wait, how do we know? So we actually have a tool in the better traders club, which is a subscription based monthly membership that has access to private discord, tools, signals, live streams, information indicators. And this is one of them. And this is the DCA back tester. So the benefit of using the DCA back tester is that I can apply a deal start condition that's available in three commas like RSI seven, when it's less than 30, it's going to start a deal based on the 50 minute time frame. So I can see that this is actually a pretty profitable strategy using the power of trading view. This is going back to September 1st, I believe. So this has done a really good job in a sideways market. Therefore, I feel like this would be a good bot setting that I can share with you and I can also run. And I also want to make sure when I'm using this that I want to check and see because this looks great, but I want to make sure that I'm actually beating buy and hold equity. That means buying Bitcoin for the same amount as starting the bot. And then if I just bought and held, what would that do? So we can see here that there are times where it really beats it and times where it doesn't beat it at all. It's actually way below zero. So I'm happy with this. So we're looking at again, RSI at 30 at the 15 minute time frame. So RSI seven on the 15 minute less than 30. There we go. Now over here, you'll notice that I also can play with the target profit percentage. So for this one, I have it set to 2%. And here, the price deviation in percentage to open safety orders. This is our safety order deviation percentage. So we got two for take profit, 5% for our safety trades. So two for take profit. And for our safety trades, it's going to be 5%. So now we have our bot set up identically like this one. And the reason for using the back tester, the DCA back tester, is that I can see, I can change. I can modify and edit all these settings to figure out what is the best possible setting for this bot. So I'm happy with this bot. And now I'm going to go ahead and hit create bot. Now it's going to ask me, do I want to start the bot? Sure, I'm going to start the bot. So please understand, though, 
depending on the deal strike condition, your bot may not start a deal right away. You can see here that it turned on a bot deal, but nothing's happened yet. And if I refresh the page, maybe something has happened, maybe not. No, and that's okay. One thing I've learned after using bots for a long time, depending on the deal strike condition you have, as long as the bot is enabled, just let the bot do its thing. Trust the settings that you have and let the bot run. So that's how you set up a three commas DCA bot based off of using one of their built-in deal start conditions. In this part of the video, I'm gonna show you how to use the TBT signals to connect to it and to use the bot templates provided on the three commas marketplace. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to marketplace on the bottom left and note that there are a lot of different options, but we're gonna focus on free for right now. The TBT signals is in third place right now with 13,000 subscribers. So let's try to just get that up there, right? Um, but just a quick word on this. Note that there are a lot of percentages here, and this is all based off of everyone that is subscribing and using these signals. So understand that this is what everyone has been using. So that's why this number right here, people that are using Binance.com, the BTC-based market, their APY is set to 21%. Whereas Binance US, their BTC APY is 11%. That's because this is based off of everyone's bots running. That means that when I click on this and I go to the marketplace page, you're going to notice something quite interesting in that here in the last signals displayed with 24 hour delay, as soon as it refreshes, it's going to show you some deals that closed in a loss. Why did this happen? Well, one reason is because of slippage. So maybe someone is using trailing take profit for their bots, which you can use, and that trade ended up resulting in a loss, or that bot deal, someone got nervous and they closed it out prematurely and it closed in a loss. Let's see if we can find any, although things are quite bullish right now. So I think we might be hard pressed to find any of those negative numbers, but maybe we'll be able to find one. All right, we can't find one, but this is actually a perfect example right here. So this row that closed on October 31st at 7.33 a.m. Note, this column says minimum profit. So the minimum profit secured by anyone using the signals was 0.62%. And over here, the maximum profit, someone actually secured 4.43% with the signals. Therefore, the average of these two is 0.98%. This is the average actually of everyone that was using the signals. While this information is very helpful on three commas, we actually post our own PL reports that look over not just the profit per bot pair, not just the profit per month, but it gives you information on the safety order usage, gives you information on how long the deals lasted for that month. There's a whole lot of information that's on the website for the bettertraders.com forward slash TBT dash signals. So over here, we can see on the left-hand side, that we have all of our information about which pairs are supported, which pairs are not. And then down here are all of the, um, all of the bot templates. So we're going to focus on USDT composite bot, or basically this is a multi-pair bot. So I'm going to click on this, and then it's going to bring me to a bot template that is essentially empty because it's just a template. It's just a waiting place. So I'm going to hit copy, and this is going to copy it to my current exchange that I, I get to choose. So if I decide to just start the bot right now, I got a little bit of a problem because I'm not able to choose the exchange that I want to run the bot on, nor am I really able to do much else other than name the bot and put an amount in to run it. So if I'm going to do this, I have to hit edit settings. Now, while I'm here at edit settings, now I can decide my exchange and I'm going to choose Binance MP. And now I can see that this bot, because it's a multi-pair bot, there are a lot of trading pairs running in this bot. So this one is set to 10 max active deals. And this one also has it set to two simultaneous deals per same pair. So that means that I could get a signal for ADA and I could get another one an hour or two later and it will open up two deals for ADA. Note that all of these settings in here these are very particular for these uh, for this bot, so you don't really want to play around too much with these, especially down here, like the cool down between deals. And this is all explained in the 15 minutes course and the MPI course as well, Mastering Passive Income. So for this bot, it's using an okay amount, although we have lots of max active deals available, 10. 
you can see we're getting the same amount. This is 4% of our account. It's using 700 USDT. But instead of that 100 and 200 that I had set before with the BTC USDT single pair bot, because I'm distributing my funds that was well, about $700, instead of it just for one trading pair, now it's split up to 10. So everything has to be divided by 10. So I'm actually going to remove some of these pairs based on how I know these bots perform and work because I want to focus on the ones that give me the most, uh, the most bang for my buck, we'll say. The ones that really start to outperform and go a little bit crazy. So I'm going to focus on these guys and take out this one and this one. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Even this one should go and even this one because I want the bot to get way more trading pairs. So now what I can do is I can see I can get up to 12 trading pairs, but I want to keep this down to um, 700 USDT in use. So this means I'm going to have to use a little bit of math. Let's go ahead and just knock off two more of these. And now we can set this to five. And now we can double this 20 and 40. So because we reduced the max active deals set to five and we have four trading pairs, that means that the math works out. We're getting twice as much per base order and safety order size per trading pair. So twice as much per trading pair. And we're using the same amount of prof or same amount of the account to get this going. Now, the last thing to figure out is because it is a multi-pair bot, we can take profit in ADA, BNB, DOT, and LINK if we so choose to. But tread lightly. Understand that it doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to be the best decision to make ever um, to take profit in all these tokens. Again, there's a time and a place to take profit in base. There you go. So when you're happy with this, go ahead and hit save. And really, it's just about deciding your trading pairs, your base and your safety order size, and how many max active deals you want to run for your bot. When you're ready, hit start. And as soon as a bot or rather a deal start condition is triggered, then it's going to start a deal for either ADA, BNB, DOT, or LINK. The last thing I want to show you is how to set up a bot that's ready to use the TradingView custom signals. We're going to copy this existing bot that we made for the RSI deal start condition. And by copying the bot, I'm able to take all the settings that were previously used, and I'm just going to name this one BTC USDT. Uh, we'll just do TradingView alerts. So now I'm going to come down here to my deal start condition and I'm going to choose trading view custom signal as my deal start condition. And I hit start. Now the difference between this and the RSI is that the only way that this bot is now going to start a deal is based off of a trading view alert. So I have to come down here to all of this blue hyperlinked text. These are all the available options that you have to use TradingView custom signals. Honestly, the ones that I use the most are just this one, message for deal start signal, because more often than not, I want the bot to run and, and use whatever strategy, whatever safety trades it has to just run. So do you remember back over here, we were talking about using RSI as our deal start condition, and some exchanges don't have RSI available, like KuCoin, like whatever exchanges don't have it. So for exchanges that don't have it, we can actually use this tool, the DCA backtester, to leverage the deal start condition that was not previously available to us on three commas, but we can use it to fire off a deal using the backtester. So in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to hit this button that says show. Now, when we look at this, you're going to see this, uh, that there are four lines, message type, bot ID, email token, and delay seconds zero. And it's going to be different per alert or different per JSON command that's here. Note, never ever show or share your email token with anybody. These are the keys of the kingdom. Be really careful with that. That's why you can't see mine clearly. So if I want to use RSI for my deal start condition for this bot, and let's say that it's not available as a deal start condition, and I've checked it out and no it works well, what I'm going to do is something really interesting. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the bot ID that's right there. So I'm going to copy this bot ID and I'm going to go over to trading view. I'm going to scroll down to the three commas section 
and the DCA back tester. And where it says long bot ID, this is where I paste in my long bot ID. And now I need to copy and paste my email token into this field. Understand that your email token stays on your TradingView account. We never ever have access to it. This is all existing on your own TradingView account. So now that I have my long bot ID entered and my email token entered, I can hit OK. And in order for me to create an alert on three commas, I hit the create alert button. And now the condition will be DCA backtester. And it's going to be alert function calls only. Now note the webhook URL has to be this three commas.io trade signal trading view. The link is right here on the screen and it should be below this video as well. Once I'm happy with this and everything that's set up, I hit create. And now when this alert condition is true, then it's going to fire off my deal or rather an alert to three commas to start my bot deal. What if you don't have the DCA back tester? I got you covered. So add an indicator to trading view to a layout and decide what you're going to use as your deal start condition. I want to use this orange dot right here, which is the TBO close short symbol. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an alert. I'm going to choose my condition as the TBO and it's going to be the close short symbol. Now for my options here, I want it to fire every single time it happens after the bar closes. This is what three commas suggests and I agree. Essentially what this means is that the alert will not fire on this candle. It will fire after the candle closes. So once the candle closes and it starts the next one, then the alert will be sent to the three commas and then it will start a deal. So understand that there will be a little bit of time between seeing this alert printed and then actually having it sent to three commas. If for some reason you want it to happen right away, you could choose once per bar or once per minute, but be careful once per minute will trigger one time every minute. So if you have a multi-pair bot with simultaneous deals enabled, danger, danger. So once per par would be better, but you do not have confirmation that that symbol should actually be there because depending on your indicator, it could disappear. So we're going to stick with once per bar close. The next thing we need to do is we need to go back to your three commas bot where it says message for deal start signal. You can either hit the show button to click this or go ahead and just click this text to copy the JSON command and then paste it in here in the message field. Once you're done, hit create. And now every time that this orange dot will be printed on the 15 minute time frame for BTC USDT, then an alert will be fired to three commas to start a new bot deal.